All right, guys, we are here at the Mississippi again, seeing if these sturgeon are still here. I'm using my tripod for the first time. I can only have two of the poles in view, so when I get a bite, all I can do is turn the view to that whatever pole if it's the other two poles. Which one? The short one? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yep. That didn't take long at all. Oh, yeah. Unless that was just the weight settling, it could have been. No, blue cat. Not horrible. About two pounds. Yeah. Alright guys, first fish of the day. Blue cat, about two pounds. But you need to sit down a little bit. You're gonna see your face. Eating. a good eating piece. Alright guys, first fish of the day, about a two pound blue cat. It's a start, it didn't even take five minutes. Yeah, yeah it would be good eating size. It's not bad. About a Don't look three and a half, four pound car. You can see your piece. Oh, we got it tilted wrong. Then. Uh, three or four pound carp, guys. Yeah, you didn't do much because 
the tail. You cannot see it. What about there? Yep, and then pull it down your head. Yeah, like that. All right, guys. Common carp, about three and a half, four pounds. I got a fish on this one. It's been on there for like 20 minutes. God. Here. Get him. It's got sand in it a little bit. Do it as fast as you can though. There you go. All right, guys, I'm letting Will my reel in one. It's been on the hook for about 20 minutes, and I didn't know. Uh, I think it's a carp, but you never know. It could be a sturgeon. That's what we're hoping for. Feel him? Yeah, you got something. It may be a little baby blue cat, too. It's got sand in it. I know, I need to clean it. Sturgeon! Sturgeon! They're still here! Alright guys, Wilma got our first sturgeon. Okay, you need to go put gloves on because you got to have gloves to handle these. Go put a pair of them gloves on. Smallest one I've caught. Sure is. Alright, Will's on a, something nice here guys. Wilma just got her first sturgeon. He's been on there a long time, like I said. It's the smallest one I've caught. Pro about 17 inches. That's awesome, they're still here. That's all I'm happy about, now we know. And from my experience, that day I was here, they quit biting at dark, but they bite better as the day goes on, but they quit the last hour. Oh, yeah, you do, okay. All right, let's get a picture of you, then I gotta go get my pole over there. Yeah, let me, uh... All right, guys, Wilma with her first shovel nose. He's a little guy, about seven, about 18 inches, real small, but still cool. Just happy to know they're still here. And Will got a... Oh, he got off. Hi. <laughs> All right, hold him better than that. Oh man, you gotta hold him up by the head and by the center. You're holding him in one spot, you can't do that. Goodness. Like that? No, right behind the fins and then back there Here? somewhere. Yeah, there you go, that'll work. All right guys, Wilma with her first I'm about to give up on you. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, Wilma with her first sturgeon. Little shovel nose, about 18 inches. There you go. You should get a big one. Okay, let's get him unhooked. Oh, oh my God, the, the worm is still You hold high. the fish real good, and I'll pull the hook. Don't put it in my hands. Sit there a couple minutes. Right, I gotta check all three of my other ones.
Okay. Sturgeon. All right. William got his first shovel nose, guys. You said you never caught one, right? Oh, that's right. Pat. The only way... Now, see, hers had a really long thing at the top. The only way you can tell, some, a shovel nose supposedly has a bumpy stomach and a pallet has a smooth stomach. Other than that, I don't know how you tell. I can't tell. Is it bumpy or smooth? It's wet. Because that's one she just caught. They have like a really long tail at the top. Way longer than that. Yeah. I mean, hers was like six inches long. Other than that, I don't know how you tell. That's smooth. I, it could be them two guys that claimed I had one kept calling them unicorn unicorn sturgeon oh you got one on this one got a sturgeon yeah I'm gonna film in here in a second you wanna try to hold it yeah, I've never done it without oh you definitely damn the wind unless that's him running Oh, it's the wind blowing the slack. Oh yeah, he just pulled. Pulled again. Come on, do it one more time, you little prick. Might be a sturgeon. I see fish jumping out in front of us too all the time. I can't tell yet. No, I missed it. Damn. Just kept pecking and pecking. Oh, I didn't know you had. I suck at casting this, so I'm gonna let you do it. 18 inch a liter. All right, guys. We think this is a shovel nose anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. He's about 21 inches, 22. We got two of them so far so it is working out for us just not great numbers but if we stay all day we're gonna get them heck yeah that's the people that live in Minnesota for the summer and then move back to Florida for the winter I bet you. It's usually what those are. Sturgeon! It's pretty damn big! Oh, it could be, I guess. It's because with that big ass weight on there, they all feel big. Is it? Yeah. Tiny. It's my big five ounce weight. This is the smallest one yet. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It really did feel big. <laughs> Now well, that one's getting one. Yeah, hold on, hold that one a second. I told you it's when the barges go by. That's when I was catching all the sturgeon the other day is when a boat would go by. Because it stirs the bottom up. Yeah. Oh, okay. That one's 
Bum. Me and her both got two today, but they've been real small. Maybe these go through at a later time. And we're at the tail end of the migration. It could be one of them. Still cool to catch, irregardless. Pretty cool. Bad. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. Holy cow, big old grass carp. Grass carp, really big. Whoa. Hell yeah, man. Grass carp about 10 pounds, 20 pounds. You lucky devil, man. That's a giant. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, grab the dip net, Wilma. All right, never mind. All right, guys, Will got a, well, I hooked, set the hook for him, but he's got a big old 20 pound grass carp here. It's not a bad fish. He really didn't fight that hard. I mean, I could tell it was decent. Oh, man. Come look at it. The big one. Man, that's bigger than the one I caught at Celine, looks like. A little bit. It's just barely raining, not raining hard enough to turn my camera off. I was just mentioning these earlier. I said it'd be cool to get something off the wall with her. Man. I'll be able to stick it in the that ain't a bad car. Damn, we're gonna have to go set in the car for a little bit, ain't we? Guys, this is not a bad grass carp at all. That's actually, he's about 20 pounds, I would say. Yeah, he's pretty damn decent. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn the camera off. Man, that ain't bad, man. <laughs> yeah. They're all, all the sturgeon we've caught today are little bitty, guys. They're all barely 15, 16 inches. Look at that little bitty. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty bad when you can't even tell they're on there. I guess I'm just gonna leave my. I'm gonna set in the car for. Alright, guys, I got something really small here, feels like. Another sturgeon. It's in a better, a little better. He's not bad. He's 20. 21, 21, 22. Wilma! Wilma! What is she doing? Is she that bad? Hey! I got a better one. Hope I got one. He's in the mid 20s. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, you do. You definitely do. Oh man, he's got one too. They're biting now. All right, guys, the biggest sturgeon of the day so far. He's probably. Small 
fish until now. Not bad. Heck yeah. to catch these this week guys. It's been really weird. seem to be on your end more than mine that's for sure yeah he's he's about seven or eight nine Pretty good. Oh yeah, he's decent. This ain't no sturgeon, I don't think. It's gotta be a carp. Oh yeah, a common carp. About like yours. Not bad. At least six or seven. Fuck, I guess I give up on trying to light a cigarette. Bad at all, is it? I finally got a car again by doing what I said I was going to do, not throw it out this far. That was the answer. The reason why we're doing so bad right now is because of the damn wind. I guess I'll uh, have you just take the camera off my head and then I'll.
about like yours was. Yours was like real tall and short. This one's real tall or long and short. Look at my pole. Could just be a baby sturgeon again. Oh, weird, man. What the hell? That's why it's all, that weight's what's doing it. The weight makes them feel real big, man. Yeah, that's a baby. Just like the first two I caught. Boy, they are thick out there then. Unless it just, I'm sure it had intentions on biting, but I must have just, he ran into it. Freaking strange, man. I really thought I had something special. I swore I had a 10 pound blue cat, guys. It's a little 15 inch sturgeon. That makes five today, though, for them. Just weird how they're all smaller this time. Caught the one okay one. Crazy how it's foul posted. I've never done that yet. Keep getting weeds on my weight. 